Shared has tried to claim that, quote, no one from the national campaign ever told anyone that a poll location had changed. But that's exactly what the documents from Elections Canada say, and they trace the calls right back to Conservative Party headquarters. And the affidavits now show us that that's what the script said, and the Conservative lawyers confirmed that the calls had been made. You know, that is not a clean and ethical campaign. So will the government tell us who at Conservative Party headquarters ran these Watergate burglars, who ran the Dirty Tricks campaign? Speaker, the specific uh, concern that the member referenced in his question was addressed by the Conservative Party to Elections Canada well over a year ago. The allegation is completely false. In the riding of Guelph, uh, we are working with Elections Canada proactively to ascertain what exactly happened. The member talks about dirty tricks. In fact, it was him that played a dirty trick on his own constituents after promising election after election to oppose the long gun registry. When he had the chance, he betrayed his word, he changed his position, he flip-flopped. That's a dirty Tax trick, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Tins, James Bay. My friend, the duck hunter. I'm glad he brought up Guelph because we'll turn attention to the Guelph campaign and the member for Labrador, the minister who yesterday refused to say why he hired a key Guelph operative to work in his office and refused to explain why he's now his director of parliamentary affairs. And yesterday we found out the Conservatives said they were glad that that minister is actually just hiding out in his riding rather than doing his job across Canada. So simple question for this minister. Was the hiring of Guelph operative Chris Crawford, was that a political payoff to keep him out of the limelight in the office of what they had hoped was the most quiet minister on the hill. Yep. Mr. Speaker, neither this minister nor any member of this government will ever apologize for spending time in our own communities. The people we represent deserve to see us there. It is precisely because he reaches out to the good people of Labrador that he represents their, their values of hard work and common sense here in the House of Commons. Maybe if that member did the same in his own constituency, he would know that the good rural people that are in his riding do not want a wasteful billion-dollar long-gun registry that harasses duck hunters and farmers.